What's up, Data Pipeliners? Welcome back to another episode on Writing Data Pipelines with Kedro. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can create custom CLI commands. These are the commands that you use when you type in Kedro Run, Kedro Pipeline, Kedro Catalog. We're going to make a custom one today on this channel. Let's go ahead and get started. So the custom commands actually live inside of the kedrocli.py file. This is the CLI file that comes with your Kedro default template. It sits in the root of your directory. And you can see here on the left, we have this Kedro custom CLI project, and I have this kedrocli.py file directly inside of that project. Now, truth be told, Kedro uses click for its custom commands. So it's actually very easy to get installed. There's a lot of great material around click out there on the internet, but let's go ahead and just do one right now together for the purpose of this video. We can dive in, take a look at the other custom commands that are here. And so the main one that we're really interested in is the run command. This is the one that you type in Kedro run. Uh, this one is, of course, the main command that we use, and you can see that it has a lot of options that come with it. So click, the way that it works is that it takes a function, which will become your command, and then it uses all of these decorators in order to add in the extra options, as well as to specify that it is a click command. So right here, we have run, and this is how Kedro run works. Whenever you pass in any of these variables or parameters into the run CLI command, it gets passed through this function and then it gets parsed a little bit. There's some rudimentary parsing and then it is used inside of the context.run. So that's a little bit of a secret for you. If you want to try to replicate Kedro uh, in a web service or if you want to use it in a custom Python script, you can just replicate this stuff right here inside of this command over there. So let's actually make a custom command today. How about we make a command that'll run multiple pipelines for us at the same time with one command? The way that we're going to do this is we're going to first name our command. So what could our command be? Let's call our command a uh, cool run because it's way cooler. Huh? It's cool runnings. Huh? Some people say you know them can't believe Jamaica we have a bobsled team. And inside of this command, the only thing that we're going to really be taking is a list of our pipelines. So if we go here and we can say uh, pipeline list like this. We're just going to put a pipeline name list here. So we're going to call at click and then command to specify that the, the following function is a command. Now, if you're not too sure about decorators, uh, let me know. We can do another separate tutorial on decorators. This is more of a Python thing, but you can consider decorators as a function wrapper. So this is wrapping around this cool run function. So here we're going to add in the click option and that click option is going to be, of course, our pipeline name list. You just do dash dash pipeline name list. And we're just going to type in uh, the type being a string. And so what's going to happen is we're going to pass in a list of pipeline names, which are going to be comma separated so right here. Very simple. All we need to do is we just got to go to pipeline list name list and correct that variable name really quickly. Pipeline name list. We're just going to split by the comma. So this is the actual pipeline list right here. And next, we're actually going to replicate the load context from the run function, from the original run function. And finally, we're going to just go ahead and call the context.run. So we're going to pass in the pipeline name into this context run. Wait a second, where are we getting the pipeline name? Actually, this is going to be a for loop. Pipeline name in pipeline list. One, one typo here, I made a mistake. This click.command it shouldn't be click.command, it should be cli.command. So this actually has to refer to the parent function. So both cool run and run are located inside of the cli function, which is a click group. 
Uh, and so that was actually a mistake there. But that's already corrected, cli.command. And now we should be able to type in kedro cool run with the pipeline name list being, and let's go ahead and just run the DE pipeline two times. And the reason why we want to run the DE pipeline two times and not like the DE and DS pipeline is because the DE and DS pipeline are connected by an in-memory data set, which means that after the pipeline run, that data set actually just disappears. So we actually have no way of connecting them currently. If we wanted to properly connect them, we would have to add in a data set that writes to disk. And for now, we're not going to do that. So let's just go ahead and run the DE pipeline two times. So we're typing in Kedro cool dash run and pipeline name list. We have our DE comma DE. And there it goes. We do the first run of our DE pipeline, and then we do the second run of our DE pipeline. And so it clearly works perfectly fine. Now, the other way that we can do this is it, rather than passing in a string that is separated by commas, we can in fact use this multiple option so that our parameter looks more like the tag option from the original run. So if we type in pipeline name, the type of string, we can pass in multiple equals true. And so that means that we can specify multiple pipeline names by just using this dash dash pipeline name multiple times. Now, in order to make sure that it is backwards compatible, we have to add in a default option for the pipeline name list to make sure that the split works. So we're just going to pass in a blank string. And then for pipeline name, as it comes in as a parameter, we can just go ahead and add it to the original list because the original list is going to be empty if there's nothing passed through. And this, work, this code will work just fine. Um, in order to do that, we have to transform the pipeline name into a list and then just add it to the list here. It's going to come in as a tuple by default. Hence, we need to do the translation here into a list. And now that we've added the pipeline name parameter, let's make sure to change the for loop variable from pipeline name to something more unique like pipeline nam. Now there is one bug with this system, and that's the pipeline name list split right here. When you do a split on an empty string, you actually return um, an, an empty string as the first argument. So when this guy runs, it's actually going to add in the pipeline to the pipeline list an empty string. So we need to filter that out as well. So we can just go ahead and just say, if the pipeline name is correct, then we'll run it. And so when we run Kedra cool run, we'll see that nothing happens because the lists are empty. But if we type in Kedra cool run with the pipeline name, we can see it running with DE. And then if we do that two times, pipeline name, it'll run two times. Well, that's all that we have for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry for the hiatus. I had to move my apartment. But if you guys like this stuff, make sure that you button that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.